Hey y'all, I'll be reacting to High by Name Ren Me episode 12. And as uh, so a heads up, I'll be starting my reaction from the minute and 42 second mark. And one, zero, go. All right, I'm hopped up. Passing the Year Festival recalination bell once. Hmm. Interesting titles. Ponies legitimately does hope she can have a happy ending. Hmm. Oh. He's probably already realizing it. At least the end of the Emma. The end is coming. It's coming. <laughs> I like that sass from Hikari. Hmm. Huh. Actually, I like that. We get to see what they actually do in your New Year's. That's nice, actually. Huh. Oh. It's pretty nice effect there when it comes to the colors. Hmm. Well, she definitely should give one to Reki, at the very least. <laughs> oh, right on cue there. Hmm. Oh. Holy. <laughs> Poor Midori, all the stress she has to deal with. Hmm. Huh. I mean, I hope that with the very least a potential final conversation can be a... Uh, Cool, and she's laying that all out. So at the very least, if she does leave, she's not gonna have no regrets. And I'm noticing her mittens. Everyone else has light colored mittens for their wings, but she's got dark colored ones. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, hey, that sounds super hella romantic though. Hmm. <laughs> Holy Yo now that is righteous and that is hella brave. At least that explains why she was given such a harsh punish, man. Oh. I mean, it's honestly a shame they weren't allowed on the other side of the city to have their relationship bloom more, but...
Maybe that's it. Maybe if Ricky accepts help, she'd be able to receive the blessing. Alright, I love that. Sticking up for Ricky. Alright, he'll go. Now he's a bro. <laughs> oh my. Now he's got brains, man. He has balls of steel. <laughs> but I actually like that, though. For Hyoko, it gives it even more... Actually, no, it gives a character to him because he's willing to risk himself just to help out Ricky and to be able to see her a bit more. So, it's actually some nice character growth there. Which is surprising because I thought he wasn't going to be implemented into this that thoroughly. Sheesh. She won't though. That ain't the case because she remembers Kodomori, so Rock and Nemo and the others for sure will not be able to forget about her. Hmm. I kind of like that though we get to see how different characters in the series deal with depression differently. I wonder what type of relation she came through with. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh. Well, Rathen, it's actually... It's actually nice to actually get to know that. Hmm. she's going to do with that, though. <laughs> oh, that's actually a pretty nice way of looking at it. At least now she's finally, she's finally gonna learn the details. So that's how it's worsened.
It's a good point. Even in life too, when you're working on something, developing crafts, if you make a mistake, it's actually almost impossible to notice you're making the mistake sometimes and you need someone else to guide you on that. So, actually it can apply to other things too. He's a cool one. Honestly, I didn't think I'd end up liking the communicator that much, but dang, <laughs> this series has surprised me. Hopefully that can lead to at least the discovery of Reiki's true name. And her actually accepting it. Oh, I kind of like the little touch of the snowman where it has the halo, but it's the same type of object it does when... Similar to when the halo is held in place. Gives me those nostalgia vibes from the first two episodes of the series when our cute little rock still couldn't have the halo to held together by itself. <laughs> Alright. Showtime. I wonder if Rucka's gonna go through it with it now or she's gonna wait for the proper moment. You know, it actually does feel ironic, and it's actually kind of shown us how how far Ruck has come and grown as an individual. <laughs> yeah, gotta tell her that. Kind of shame that the first time she's, it's in the period of the, of a festival like this, it's gonna be filled with traumatic memories for a poor Raka. Oh no, maybe something of bittersweet memories. Ah. <laughs> oh man, they're both adorable. Ah. Hmm. Oh, and the baby! <laughs> I finally get to see Simica's baby. <laughs> this is all so satisfying. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, it's definitely giving us the finality vibe. Oh, that dude looks like he has a crush on. Oh, that's sweet. And it's a nice way to see her patch things up, too, because the last time she was in the shop, it didn't end off on a good note, so. That's cute. And that's a mile, too. Showing us that he doesn't have any hard feelings. I like that. Because sometimes in animes, when there's like a store shopkeeper and a character interacts with them rudely, it usually doesn't follow it up afterwards, but. Here you actually get the follow-up. And even there where she bought the soup too, that's... Aww. Pretty sure Kana's is gonna notice where he got that from though. Alright. Oh man. So me now it's gonna be showtime for our Reki. Huh. 
<laughs> like, I don't know why that kid is totally sticking out for our record, that's cute. Wonder will she even make it in time? that I got a feeling they already knows that she's gonna it's gonna leave but she doesn't have a scooter though or a motorcycle bike to actually speed up the process but then I guess with the snow I wouldn't really be safe to transverse the snow Hey, she can fix the window later. <laughs> oh, I thought she was gonna actually like do a long distance throw, all quarterback style. Silly me. <laughs> like it though. You see some of her ingenuity there. It's gonna be like a fireworks. Kind of like shaped like a bell, or it's one thing I can guess that maybe they've. Yeah, I had a feeling. And I had a feeling it was gonna be that because they're telling. They're telling one of the boys to not waste the firecrackers with the fireworks, so. And while. Oh, that explains the opening, why there was fireworks. So that was Yoko and Midori's answer then, the opening. Oh. He's expressing it in his actions and not the words. <laughs> Fuck. The barely seeing that you. Ian, this probably isn't the. Uh, oh. Probably regrets all the nasty things she said. Still, though. The very least Ricky knew that she made the effort of actually going up and seeing her. Oh. Well, that's a wonderful way of patching things up there. Hmm. And it was also nice to see Rock uh, also help set this up too. And to finally see the one that was that has been helped actually do some of the helping out. Things have really gone full slipper here. I like those sequences where they just let the audience breathe after like a big 
emotional emotional sequence Ah oh, man, I really hope we get some closure on Rekki's situation, whether she's gonna have her flight day. Oh. Looks like it might actually be setting up towards that. And the music playing is really wonderful too. Ah, so this series, even though it has a lot of quiet tracks, a good amount of them have some nice, nice amounts of power to them. God, I made amazing use of the colors, because even though this anime is from the 2000s, it looks pretty dang beautiful. Hmm. Kind of like the little touch there since because in Silo Arcs were used, I kind of like how they emphasized it on the yellow star. That was that was nice there. That was nice use of the colors. All right, I'm actually gonna give this one a ten out of ten. I think it's earned it. This episode was it was one of those episodes where it was honestly it was sad. I mean, shit, I, I was feeling way more emotions than I could have ever bargained for, but at the same time, though, it's one of those episodes that's extremely beautiful at the same time, because you see Midori just beautifully patch things up with with Reki. Resuming a plot point they introduced at the start of the series, where Reki was kind of talking mad... Not Reki. Where Midori was talking mad shit about Reki, and you can finally see... Closure in that. And Hyoko too when Reki were kinda showed you yeah there was a bit of conflict there. But you can see them in a way patch things up. So all in all, the episode was wonderful for that. For introducing plot points and resolving them instantly. And I even like how it patched things up, even like the minor minor plot points introduced, like when you had her have that outburst in the shop. And Raka actually managed to pull it through to the point where she was she said thanks to the shopkeeper owner. And additionally, top of that, this episode showed you some Raka character development, the way she just persevered trying to help things out in her own way. That's character development there. And also character development for Midori, considering that she went all the way to, like, actually hug and speak with Rekki was also really, really glorious. So, from a character standpoint, there's really nothing more you can ask for. From a story standpoint, there isn't really much you can ask for. I felt so many emotions watching the episode. Oh, my goodness. It was just oh, that amazing. And on top of that... The music was beautiful, had a nice personality, a nice voice, and that is why I felt this episode was a 10 out of 10, and the voice performances from everyone's actor actresses was amazing. And my goodness, that was my favorite episode of the series by far, and I'm eagerly hyped up for the next episode, and yes, I'll most definitely be reacting to the next episode for sure. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the series. Be sure to comment on your thoughts... Wait, not series, on the episode! <laughs> Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how you feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the video, share it, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later, because I'll definitely be there to check out its final episode. And anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching my video. And this is how I feel about its 12th episode. And have a great and safe day, everyone. Bye-bye.